Alright, we got something uh, different here today. We're going to work on our little lathe. This here is uh, an atlas. And it's a 6 inch, 6 by 18. So I'm going to call it a 618. Or uh, a 101. Because that's the, I think Sears had that model out. But anyway, it's, uh, it's a, a later model than the, the 109s, which was very popular in the day. But it pretty much does the same thing. And what we're doing is I'm changing the, the old tool holder here. This here is uh, this tool post. I think they call this a lighthouse because it sort of looks like a lighthouse. Yeah, a lantern. Lighthouse, lantern. I've even, I've even heard them called rock, rocking tights, you know, because uh, you got a little rocking thing in here. But anyway, I'm gonna gonna change it over to a a quick tool change, you know, the, the square blocks, and uh, you have to do a little machining because if you have the 109s, I think you can get they'll have it. It, it fits right in here, but the one I got is just a square block, and we have to do a little machining to make it fit. And even the the Harbor Freight ones and the Grizzlies and stuff made in China, they all have ones already made, but. Uh, these United States made atlases, uh, they don't have the tool post that you just hook right in, so let me show you what I picked up. Alright, this sort of looks like a mess here, but this is what we're replacing it with. This is, uh, they call this a quick change tool post. I want to thank Sean from, uh, Sean Mr. Fixit Lee, he's the one that helped me, uh, find the right one. He, uh, he even gave me a link to an aluminum one, but I went with the steel one. Figure what the heck, it's only another 50 bucks more. And it comes with all these tool holders, a right right holder, a left holder, a, I think this one here is for a boring bar, and this here is a knurling for knurling stuff, and I think they give you two, uh, two, two uh, tool holders, but anyway, uh, here's the bottom that we're going to have to do a little milling on, and Mike had already started, he got this one side uh, machined, and instead of machining all that, material off there. I think he's going to cut it with the grinding wheel. And uh, then we'll, we'll be pretty much set. Then he's going to have to make like a key shape. Let me uh, show you over here. He's got it all figured out. So he's going to have to make it fit inside that keyway. I guess they call that a T, uh, yeah, T slot. T slot, yeah. So that's where we're at. Alright, when he gets, uh, when he does a little milling on that, I'll uh, maybe get some video of him. Yikes. Right, Mike's going to mill this and uh, square it up. That's just to get the width. Right. Then he's going to cut the T in. Right, right. Cut the uh, the step. And while he's doing that, I'll probably uh, repaint this fender over here. <laughs> That's alright. It's all part of the process. out of the bags and cleaned them up and uh, I'm actually uh, very surprised at how well these things are made and even shipped like I say every, every one of these was oiled putting this 
plastic bag, which is pretty pretty thick mill. It's not like a real cheap, it's not like a lunch bag. I mean, it's a it's a good substantial bag. Each one was individually put in a box, and even the boxes, you know, it's not like a paper box that you see most of your Chinese stuff in. And they were individually boxed, and then they were boxed and put in this box. And this is pretty substantial. And these don't have China written on them anywhere. But uh, anybody that knows these kind of tools, they'll recognize this number that's etched in here. You know, it's uh, pretty popular. But there is no name on it. And uh, I'm, I'm really impressed. I even, I even pointed out to Mike uh, how well they are made. And check out this surface here. This is a precision ground surface here. And it's perfect. All the edges are beveled perfect and uh, really, really uh, well craftsmanship. I'm very, very surprised. So uh, anybody that was thinking of buying this and, and they're worried about it because it's made in China, I would say go ahead and buy it. I don't see I, I see absolutely nothing wrong with them. Matter of fact, each one of them was uh, certified and inspected and everything. So uh, you know, I'm all for buying American, but uh, you know, when you have to buy Chinese, if you get some quality stuff, I mean, it's it's worth it. So uh, I'll uh, I'll throw a link in the bottom in the description where I got these. Like I say, uh, there's no name on them, but uh, you see these on Amazon and uh, eBay and stuff. They come in a series because you actually buy the tools for them and the cutoffs from uh, all your uh, main distributors of, of these little lathes and stuff. So uh, I thought I'd point that out. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, let's get back to Mike. How are you making it out here, Mike? Well, I got the first step done. Oh, to one side? Well, yeah, so the first slide of the, the T nut. Call it. Hmm. So I've got to take a little bit more off the overall width here, and then cut the T, or the the step, in the other side, okay. and uh, and then we're ready to, we're ready to go. Yep. All right. Looks pretty good. All righty. All right. Is that your last cut? No, 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 no more. Yeah, I got another about an uh, eighth of an inch or so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going, buddy. All right, my material. All right, Mike's got that. Uh, he's got everything all tightened up and everything all ready to go here. Yeah, Matter of fact, he's, he's even got a, the chuck. He's got to chuck a thing up and uh, and level it. Show him what I got, Mike. I bought this level uh, machine here. Yeah, well, I guess the idea is you put this in the chuck, and I imagine this surface right here is on parallel with the center of this bar here mm -hmm. and then you you eyeball the uh, bubble there and I guess that, that, that puts the tip of your tool at the center line of the uh, lathe spindle so it's so you don't get them nubs right a little gimmicky tool but so I think there's really some works. instructions over there we might have to level that level before we put it on oh man yeah oh I see that look at that there's yeah. a handy Adjustment. Uh, get, yeah, get an uh, Allen wrench for that and I'll get the instructions. Okay. What's it look like, buddy? You level? Well, according to that little machine. Let me scoot like around there and take a, a good look at it from here. Yep, the level don't lie. See, he's got that point at the see, bottom half right on top of your uh, your cutting tool. Alright, so you should, shouldn't leave any nub. Pretty cool. Alright, uh, what's it looking like, buddy? Yeah, that's a pretty light cut. It's coming right off of there. Huh. I'm curious to see what kind of finish it has. That's just a piece of, just uh, piece of uh, mild garbage. steel, yeah, yeah. Cold rolled, or maybe it looks like cold rolled steel. Hmm. Maybe it's hot rolled, I don't know. Nah, we don't have much hot around. Must be cutting pretty good because it's not making a sound. Yeah, it's an excellent uh, finish. Whew! Look at that. Wow. I'm impressed, buddy. Yeah. Carbide. Carbide take, tip, buddy. Take a bit of a harder, heavier cut. Take 15,000. Let me check with the tube to see if that's too much. Yeah, it looks be doing alright. There 
There you go. Welcome to the 21st century, buddy. Mike likes it. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, if anybody's interested in buying that kind of thing, yeah, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. Look at him. Look at him. He just changed a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. Let's see what other cut, what, uh, other angles you have. All right, Mike put the face cut uh, tool in there. Gonna see if his level works. Pretty good. No nubs there. All right. Well, that's good. Now to change that, all he has to do is show me how you take that bit out. And I'm like, well, you just just pull a handle, pop the whole, pop that out, the whole little put your tool there. back in. You, know, you can put the turning tool on the side here. Look at that. Right, and that we know this one's level. I should mention that these got these got little stops here. So little little thumb nuts there. Right. You Those adjust are your them. stops. Yeah. You know? So. The first time you use them, you have to adjust them, and after that, it's clear sail. Yeah, after that, you really don't have to mess with it, um, unless, of course, you change whatever tool, tool you're right. using itself, you know. But the, the holders, they don't need to be changed, really. That's good. So now you get so to I'd say, I'd say well worth the money, Mike. Yeah. All right. So it serves a purpose. There you go. Makes it easier on me, anyway. That's right. All right. What do you say, Mike? Enough of this? Yeah. Enough of this.